welcome back to another video of python for managers and marketers and in this video we will be writing our very first program in this language and i hope that you watched the earlier two videos of mine because in those videos i have helped you install the python interpreter and the ide which is visual studio code which is right in front of you and once you have installed these two things now you are all set to write your first code in python now this program which we are about to write this is for you who are mbas this is for you who are marketers because in this program we are writing a program to find the advertisement spend the advertisement expenditure for the month of january and we will be writing a very simple program i mean you would be amazed by how simple the program is but through that simple program you will be understanding some of the most crucial basic concepts of this language python so in front of you is the visual studio code ide and the first thing which you need to think about while writing a program is that what is the outcome what is the output which you want from the program and in any python program the output which you will find is through the print statement so the print statement is where you will get the output so you need to think about what should go within this print statement so that you get the output which you want for yourself so we were writing this program to find the advertisement expenditure for the month of january we know that the number of days in the month of january are 31 so we will write that over here and we would assume that the advertisement expenditure per day for that month was rupees 5000 so which means that if we need to find out the advertisement expenditure for the entire month of january that is going to be 31 multiplied by 5000 so we know that if we execute this program if we execute this one line code which we have created over here we shall get the output which we want which is the ad expenditure for the month of january and for us to execute this program we need to come over here and click this run or play icon now when you press this icon you will see that a new window which is called a terminal window has opened up and it has the output of your program and here is that output it says that your advertisement expenditure for the entire month has been 1 lakh 55 thousand rupees now there's a problem with this program and that problem is that this program is not self-explanatory which means if you create this if you save this and probably if you come back to this program after a week you might completely forget that what exactly is this program trying to do because you might forget that what exactly is this 31 all about or what exactly is this 5000 all about so this program is not self-explanatory this is a very great example of a very bad program and hence now our objective is to improve this program is to make it more self-explanatory and to truly make it into a program because right now what you have created it's not exactly a program because you are using it more like a calculator so for that what we will be using is something called variable and variable is a very important concept in this language or in any programming language that you'll ever study so please pay close attention to this because this is going to make you understand a very important concept so now i will go up here and i will declare a variable i will say that days in jan is equal to 31 and i will also say that add spend per day is equal to 5000 so what you can see in front of you is that I have created a variable with the name days underscore in underscore Jan and I have assigned it with a value of 31. Same way I have created another variable by the name add underscore spend underscore per underscore day and I have assigned it with a value of 5000. Now I want you to note this down in your notebook right now that what exactly is a variable. A variable is basically a name with which you will assign an object so with this name I have assigned this particular object this particular value 
and a few more things which you need to know about variables that when you are declaring a variable name one thing you need to ensure is that within the variable name there cannot be any space so now if in this name i had created a space it would throw an error right up here in the same way a variable name cannot start with a numerical if i were to start this variable name with a numerical it would also again throw me an error hence you need to ensure that your variable names have been created in a good way and the variable names are legal as per the language rules so what we have in front of us are the two legal variable names which we have created now instead of having this in our print statement we can simply say print days in jan into add spend per day and now if we execute this program you would expect that the output which you will get from this program will be the same as we had earlier so let's run this code and see that and yes we can see that the output over here is exactly the same which was the earlier output so which means that the program is still the same it is giving us the same output but now we have made the program more self explanatory so that if we see this program after a few weeks or if somebody else was to see this then he or she or us we can understand it now i can further improve this how instead of doing this entire computation within the print statement i can export it outside of the print statement which means probably i can write something of this sort which is add spend in jan and it will be equal to days in jan multiplied by add spend per day so now effectively we have created a third variable with this name wherein we are doing the entire calculation and now in our print statement instead of having this entire thing we can simply call this variable over there which is add spend in jan and now again when you execute this code you would expect that the output which you'll get is the same so let's execute this code let's run this code and see if the output is same or not so here i press this and as you can see the output of this program is also the same which is 1,55,000 rupees so in this first program which you have very beautifully created what you have learnt is that how do you need to approach a program you need to first think about what is the output which you are expecting and that output most likely is going to come from that print statement so that could be a starting point for you and around that you can build your entire code and also you have learnt that what is variable and why is a variable so important for you why do you need to use it in your program now what i want you to do is that i want you to create a very simple similar three line four line program for yourself execute it in your visual studio code and down below in the comments i want you to share that code as well as the output so that you feel good about it i want you to feel good about writing your first program because this is your first step it's a very important step and you've learned something very new so i'll see you in the next video wherein i'll be sharing with you something else about this language and we will be proceeding and progressing on our journey to learn python thanks a lot and goodbye